Uh, we're here in Burbank finishing up a long day, but I wanted to touch base and, and kind of answer a few questions that I'm hearing on the forum and on Facebook and kind of in all of our social media. Um, one that's a really interesting question is individuals that have had their, th their gallbladder removed. Um, the gallbladder helps emulsify or break down fat. So when we don't have a gallbladder, the pancreas and the liver take um, an extra burden. So phase one and phase two are really important to be diligent and prep, um, but phase three is the one that you're going to have to really be, I would say, kind of careful about. You want to make sure that you're doing lots of the herbs, lots of the parsley, um, the peppers, all the herbs and spices, because those help break down food when the body doesn't have a gallbladder to help aid in that process. You want to chew your food really, really well. You want to make sure you do what we call gallbladder food. So things like lima beans are really good for gallbladders if you're looking for something in phase one. Grapefruits are amazing for the gallbladder. Um, figs can be also incredible foods for the gallbladder. But the thing to remember if you don't have a gallbladder is that phase three is going to be a little more difficult. So you want to use tons of herbs and spices. You want to maybe only do the carb once or twice a week at dinner because it is optional. You want to make sure you do a lot of the bitter vegetables, things like kale, asparagus, um, and you also want to make sure you do lots of herbs and spices. You can do this without a gallbladder, a lot of my clients do, but what you want to do is take extra care of the digestion, make sure you chew your food, make sure you use the herbs and spices, and maybe skip that carb one or two days uh, for dinner on phase three.